Everyone knows the whirlwind love story of Pamela Anderson and drummer Tommy Lee. Before the demise of their relationship, they had two children, Brandon and Dylan. Ready to feel old? They're in their 20s, and they're total hunks. Brandon and Dylan's earliest days couldn't have been the easiest. For one, the family was constantly under a microscope, unable to escape the paparazzi. Brandon and Dylan also went to boarding school for five years in a remote part of British Columbia, Canada, according to Nylon Magazine, which was their mom's idea. And at first, Dylan wasn't happy about it. He revealed, When I left, I was kicking and screaming. I hid from her for three hours before my plane ride. Now I think it was so good for me to get out of LA because you can get lost. In addition to a non-stop press presence and being uprooted from their homes for boarding school, Brandon and Dylan and had to deal with other tribulations when they were boys. According to an interview Pamela Anderson gave Entertainment Tonight, when the brothers were growing up, they were, quote, teased and made fun of and had a few fistfights over their mom. Fortunately, the boys have matured to the point where they're not only comfortable with whatever their mom does, but also supportive. In fact, Pamela recalled that Brandon said, We're older. We're not embarrassed anymore of you. You know, we think you're great. It's awesome that they were able to come to this point, despite whatever harassment they had previously faced. It can be hard to establish yourself as an independent person if you have a celeb parent, or in this case, parents. But the Lee boys have their heads square on their shoulders when it comes to being their own men. Brandon shared in an interview with Demand Magazine, I'm a completely different person with a completely different mindset and a completely different set of skills. As for the biggest lesson he's learned from his parents' careers, he said it's to quote, just be himself. You definitely won't find him sitting idly by in their shadow. Dylan's also done due diligence when it comes to shoring up his solid foundation. In an interview with CR Fashion Book, he shared, my upbringing has has given me motivation to work extra hard to reach my goals. Sometimes it can feel like you're in the background and only known as so-and-so's son, but my parents instilled me with a strong sense of self, so I know I can make my own mark. What to do when you're the child of mega celebs and you inherited model good looks? Why, model, of course, and both of the Lee brothers do it, and do it well. In fact, Brandon has walked the runway for Dolce & Gabbana several times, something he really enjoys. Speaking with Demand, he shared, Walking for Dolce & Gabbana was one of the most spectacular experiences. Stefano and Domenico are icons, and it was such an honor to be involved with showcasing that collection. Dylan's no slouch on the runway either, as he was handpicked by Hedy Slimane to model for Saint Laurent. During an interview with the Daily Front Row, he recalled, I was just a surfer kid who liked going to the beach and swim trunks. I didn't really have a fashion sense. Someone reached out to my agency for a casting Slimane was holding, and as soon as I got there, he kicked everyone else out. He may not think he's up to par on the fashion side, but he's clearly got the look. While Brandon Thomas Lee is still quite young, he's still gone through a lot for his age. After all, growing up in the spotlight definitely has its perils. To that end, in 2016, he made one of the most important decisions he's ever been faced with. He got sober. He revealed to interview, Three years ago, I was in one of the darkest spots of my entire life. I didn't want to leave my apartment. I couldn't do anything. That's when he decided that something had to change. And change he did, as Brandon threw himself into the work of his sobriety, something that's been well worth the effort. He went on to say, Ever since I got sober, I just feel like everything's gotten better for me. I've become a better worker. I've become a better person." He added that he still deals with his fair share of temptation in Los Angeles, but that his burgeoning career is far more important than partying in any way, shape, or form. Look, it's always tough. It's never like an easy journey, right. especially when you're young. Where there's Tommy Lee, apparently there's drama. And in 2018, the rock star reportedly drummed up drama with his older son Brandon. According to People magazine, the father and son got in a brawl that resulted in Brandon allegedly knocking his father out cold. The pair had been arguing about recent tweets and photos that Tommy posted on Instagram concerning an interview Pamela Anderson gave on Piers Morgan's Life Stories. In it, she discussed the abuse she endured from her ex-husband while they were married, which apparently angered the Motley Crue drummer. In a post on her blog, Pamela expressed support for and solidarity with her son. She wrote, I stand beside my son who acted out of self-defense and was scared for his life. Nobody understands the lifetime of disappointment this man has brought to our family. Being creative is definitely in the Lee family's DNA, so it's no surprise that Brandon, a self-professed cinephile, has caught the acting bug. While talking to Demand, he revealed that he has a true appreciation for the art of cinema, saying, I love film. It's a cure-all. It inspires emotion and gives birth to so much motivation. Now that Brandon is all grown up, he knows what he wants to do in life, be an actor. And while that may not exactly be a shocker to many people, Lee came to this decision after years of thinking about it. He told Town & Country, My mom knew how seriously I was taking my acting career. I grew up running from the camera. But these last couple years, I've been seeking it out in a different way." Brandon is like a chameleon. He's, he's just invincible. He's an incredible, um, talented person. So what's he done so far? According to Entertainment Tonight, you can spot him in the short film Inherent Greed, as well as the Netflix film Sierra Burgess is a Loser with Chrissy Metz and Shannon Purser, and 2021's Cosmic Sin. But that's not the only place you might have seen Brandon on screen.
Given that Brandon Thomas Lee cut his teeth in the middle of Malibu with other huge celebs, he didn't have to do much work in order to become famous. That's just how it is when you're the child of Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson. So some folks might have been surprised to see Brandon on the 2019 revival of The Hills. Why appear on such a show when everyone already knows who you are? Brandon cleared everything up in an interview with Elle. Before The Hills, nobody knew what I was like. Why not let them know I don't have a chip on my shoulder? I'm calm, I show up on time, I'm not crazy or entitled. You know, that was kind of like the moment of truth for me where I was like, okay, hopefully they see me how I see me and how I think everybody else sees me. Additionally, Brandon had a mission in mind, to show he's more than his bloodline. He continued, More than anything, I wanted the separation. I wanted people to see me for me and not my parents. This is the way. The young actor also told Town & Country, I'm at a point in my life now where I'm more than happy to show people what I've been up to. This is the most beautiful thing in the world right now. Ask Dylan about his favorite thing in the world, and he'll no doubt answer that it's music. And he doesn't just listen to it either. He's working on creating it constantly. He shared in an interview with W Magazine, If I'm in for the night, I'm writing music. I'm either playing the piano, playing the guitar, or producing on my computer. That's usually my night every day. Music, music, music. Fairly early on in life, Dylan figured out that he wanted to be a musician, one who's more than just a famous drummer's kid. Over the years, he's put in the work for it too. So what are his goals, and why is he so intense about them? He went on to say, As of right now, I am working really hard to become a music producer slash DJ. That is my dream, and I want it to become a reality. He cited the Chainsmokers, Jack Yu, Dylan Francis, and Zed as inspirations. And of course, his father played a role. Talking to Fashion Week Daily, Dylan admitted, I wouldn't say he pushed me to be in music, but he's been really influential. Having access to Dad's home studio was also a sweet perk, no doubt. The aspiring DJ also wants to play Coachella someday. From the looks of it, that dream may end up coming true after all. Dylan celebrated a major milestone in May of 2020 when his project Midnight Kids, with his musical partner Kyle Gerard, dropped an 80s-inspired EP entitled The Lost Youth. As he tells it, the record has been warmly received. He gushed in a chat with Us Weekly, Everyone's excited. Everyone supports the project. Everyone's like, gung-ho about it. And though Pamela Anderson's son likes to march to the beat of his own drum, he says that both of his parents genuinely dig his music. He said, I guarantee if we mess up, like family, they would be like, you gotta do this. But other than that, I feel like we do a pretty good job of navigating our way. When it comes to celebrities, Brandon isn't impressed, most of the time. Only when someone has true talent does he get a little starstruck, he admits. So who's the celebrity who really blew his mind? The queen herself, Beyonce. In an interview with W Magazine, Brandon described seeing her backstage at his first Coachella. I turned around and almost passed out. I said, hey, in a little boy voice, and she called me handsome. Let me tell you, that shot my ego through the roof as a kid. I was 100 feet tall. No one could ever say anything to me that would take that away. The encounter really stuck with him, even years later. And in case you were wondering who Dylan's celeb crush is, he spilled the beans in an interview he gave to W Magazine. Jessica Alba. Other than music, Dylan has another passion he's been cultivating for many years. Opening up to Nylon Magazine, he said, Surfing has played one of the biggest roles in my life. For Dylan, getting out on his board is not just physically beneficial, but also mentally therapeutic. He went on to say, I use it as a way to get away from everything and just be on my own. Out there, there's nothing to worry about, and no one's up in your face. In Malibu, that has to be a rarity for sure. Yeah, the streets is tough, but there ain't no streets tougher than mine. The streets are. Malibu. His surfing habit also has an unexpected benefit, his bountiful, healthy head of hair. He confessed in an interview with W Magazine, I actually don't use any hair product. I usually just go for a surf in the morning and leave it up to the ocean to work its magic. And no, despite all that time on the beach, he doesn't watch Baywatch. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.